American actor Robert Blake passed away at the age of 89. The cause of death was heart disease. Robert was born on September 18, 1933. His first role was in the 1942 film Moki. He was best known for his roles in films and TV series such as In Cold Blood, Electra Guild in Blue, and Beretta. For his role in the television series Beretta, he received an Emmy Award. His last role was in the 1997 film Lost Highway. Robert Blake died on March 9, 2023, at the age of 89. He is survived by his three children. American singer and songwriter Bobby Caldwell died on March 14, at age 71. He has struggled with health issues over the past six years. Bobby Caldwell was best known for his hit What You Want To Do For Love. He also wrote many songs for other artists, including the single The Next Time I Fall for Peter Ceretta and Amy Grant, a Grammy-nominated song that reached number one on the Hot 100 in 1986. Israeli actor who appeared in dozens of American films, Chain Topol died on March 8 at the age of 87. He was best known for his portrayal of Tavi, the lead role in the stage musical Fielder on the Roof, and the 1971 film adaptation for which he was nominated for an Oscar. He was also appeared in films such as Flash Gordon, For Your Eyes Only, The House on Garibaldi Street, and The Talent for Loving. He is survived by his wife and their three children. American Hall of Fame musician and songwriter Gary Rosington died on March 5th at age 71. The guitarist has been dealing with health issues for decades, including a heart attack in 2015 and emergency heart surgery in 2021. He was best known as a founding member of rock band Leonard Skinner. Gary was the last surviving member of the original band. In 2006, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. American actress Sarah Lane passed away on March 3rd at age 73. She was best known for her fourth season stint as young orphan Elizabeth Grainer on western drama The Virginian. She also appeared in films such as Billy Jack Goes to Washington, The Trial of Billy Jack, and I Saw What You Did. American disability rights activist Judy Hellman died on March 4 at age 75. She was an internationally recognized leader of the disability rights movement whose activism led to the implementation of major legislation in the United States. Canadian actress and writer Louise Dassault passed away on March 14, 2023 at age 82. One of the most revered jazz saxophonists, Wayne Shorter, died on March 2nd at age 89. His visionary composition and improvisation shaped not only 20th century jazz, but also pop, world and classical music. Many shorter compositions have become jazz standards and his music has earned worldwide recognition critical praise and commendation. He won 20 competitive Grammys over his long career. In 2017, Wayne Shorter was awarded the Polar Music Prize. American professional basketball player Felton Spencer died on March 12 at age 55. He played at Louisville from 1986 to 1990. He helped lead the Cardinals to three consecutive Metro Conference tournaments wins and pair of sweet 16 appearances. After that, he played in the National Basketball Association 
for 12 years from 1990 to 2002. Legendary American Olympic gold high jumper Dick Fosbury died on March 12 at the age of 76. He is considered one of the most influential athletes in the history of athletics. In 1968, he broke the Olympic and the United States records with a jump of 2.24 meters to earn the gold medal. American football player and longtime Minnesota Vikings coach Bud Grant passed away on March 11, 2023. He was 95 years old. Grant spent 18 seasons as a Vikings head coach, leading them to 11 division titles, one league championship, and four Super Bowls, all true he lost each time. American professional baseball player, three-time All-Star, Joe Papiton, died on March 13 at age 82. He played in Major League Baseball from 1962 to 1973. He was part of the New York Yankees team that won the World Series in 1962 during his rookie season. American professional football player who was a wide receiver for Kansas City Chiefs, Otis Taylor died on March 9 at the age of 80. The cause of death was complications from Parkinson's disease. In 1970, he helped Kansas City Chiefs win their first Super Bowl. His best season as a player was in 1971 when he finished second in the NFL's Most Valuable Player voting. British professional Grand Prix motocross racer Dave Nichol died on March 9 at age 78. In 1960, at the age of 16, he began motorcycle racing. From 2000 to 2013, he was the FIM Motocross World Championship Racer Director. American bassist Michael Rhodes died on March 4 at the age of 68. He played on iconic recordings and toured in some of rocks, blues, jazz and progressive country music's biggest names. In 2019, he was inducted into the Musician Hall of Fame and Museum. American film director, screenwriter and visual effects artist Bert I. Gordon died on March 8 at the age of 100. Despite low budgets and years of mostly negative reviews, he gained a cult following for his giant villains, homemade effects and preposterous plot lines. He writing and directing films such as Amazing Colossal Man, King Dinosaur and Empire of the Ants. American trash metal guitarist Jim Durkin passed away on March 8 at the age of 58. He was known as a member of Dark Angel Band. He played on their first three albums, We Have Arrived, Darkness Descends and Leave Scars. American author and illustrator Ian Falconer passed away on March 7 at age 63. He created 30 covers for The New Yorker as well as other publications. He also designed sets and costumes for ballet and opera companies around the world, including the New York City Ballet. American entrepreneur Tom Love died on March 7 at the age of 85. He founded the family-owned and operated Love's Travel Stops and Country Stores with his wife and business partner Judy. Love's Travel Stops and Country Stores is a national chain with more than 600 locations. American driver, four-time Olympic champion Pat McCormick died on March 7 at the age of 92. She won both diving events at two consecutive Summer Olympics in 1952 and 1956. She also won 26 United States national titles. In 1965, Pat McCormick 
was inducted into the International Swimming Hall of Fame. Canadian-born British ballerina, mostly associated with the Royal Ballet in London, Lynn Seymour, died on March 7. She was 83 years old. Lynn Seymour was one of the greatest dramatic ballerinas of the 20th century. American sportcaster Dave Wills died on March 5th at age 58. In 2005, he became the radio voice of the Tampa Bay Rays, a position he held until his death. American musician and singer David Lindley passed away on March 3rd at age 78. He was a founding member of the rock band El Rayo X and worked with many other performers, including Ray Cooder and Jackson Brown. His most known songs are Mercury Blues, She Took Off My Romeos and Your Old Lady. American businessman and football player Jerry Richardson died on March 1st, 2023 at age 86. He played two seasons in the National Football League with the Baltimore Colts. He used the money he made playing for the Baltimore Colts to build the Hardy's fast food restaurant empire. In 1995, he founded the Carolina Panthers, a professional American football team. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel so as not to miss new videos.